yogis and Buddhist monks learned in ancient times that our perceptions may influence reality. They discovered how to produce miracles in their lives via concentrated attention, demonstrating how our concentration can affect our reality. This adventure investigates the profound link between our attention and the cosmos. We will delve into the technique of energy manipulation, focusing our attention to effect change in our life. This is not a strange or hidden procedure. It is about comprehending how attention, energy, and quantum physics interact. Can we transform our life just by focusing our minds? This investigation, the science of attention and reality comprehension, seeks to address this issue. Consider a river. This is a representation of the flow of energy and attention. Our focus flows like a river, directing energy. This simple yet powerful concept demonstrates how our concentration impacts reality. When we focus on a goal or want, we attract it into our reality in the same way that a moth is pulled to a flame. Have you ever noticed how concentrating on a notion or desire may bring it to fruition? This isn't by chance. Your attention has the ability to shape your life. The link between our concentrated attention and the universe's response is obvious. Wherever we direct our attention, we direct the cosmos to behave in our favor. Our focus directs the trajectory of our life. We must also comprehend energy, stagnation, and repeating patterns in our life. It's like a dam impeding the flow of a river. We repeat the same patterns when our energy is trapped. To change this, we must adjust our attention, enabling energy to flow freely once again. This moves us closer to a more fulfilled existence. Energy, as Einstein stated, cannot be generated or destroyed, just altered. We may shift the energy within us with concentrated attention, breaking away from old habits and establishing new possibilities. It is not about producing new energy, but about altering what we currently have investigating the many forms of attention. Our cosmos is a region of opposites, with everything existing in a polar condition. There is good and bad, love and hatred, light and darkness. Similarly, our attention may be classified into several sorts, with polar attention being a fundamental factor that determines how we see and interact with the world around us. Polar attention is similar to directing your mental focus to one end of a spectrum while remaining fully aware of the opposing end's presence. Every circumstance we face has two opposing sides, such as a problem and its solution, which reflect the two extremes of a single event. Visualize a coin in your head. One side is labeled issue, while the other is labeled solution. When life throws you a curveball, consider which side of the coin you are on. Concentrating on. The component to which you pay attention grows in power. Concentrating on the problem magnifies it. But refocus your attention and join our group, which will guide you to enlightenment in your deepest thoughts. It is not about ignoring difficulties, but rather about shifting your perspective to identify the answers. Problems and solutions do not exist in isolation. They are simply various elements of the same problem. You can choose to connect with the more favorable end of the spectrum by carefully directing your polar attention. This decision is critical in breaking free from unproductive cycles of energy stagnation, and it may result in dramatic changes in your reality. The key that unlocks the door to these transforming experiences is the power of concentrated attention. Let us now move on from the idea of polar attention to investigate another fascinating element of our awareness. Attention that is non-polar or neutral. Non-polar attention is a broader type of focus. It transcends the typical boundaries and contrasts in how we perceive things. You become an observer who observes everything, develop without becoming emotionally engaged or taking sides when you pay neutral attention. Consider yourself to be a tranquil lake. When a stone, a circumstance, or a thinking is tossed into it, polar attention like the ripples generated by the stone, disturbs the surface of the water. With neutral attention, on the other hand, you embody the entire lake, still undisturbed, simply witnessing the waves without being touched by them. 
Accepting both extremes of a situation without being drawn in or driven away is critical in dismantling the present patterns of our reality and paving the space for a new one to develop. When we witness without judgment or attachment, we come to a halt, fueling the existing state of affairs, allowing its hold on us to wane and creating openings for a new reality to emerge. So, how can we use the great potential of neutral attention to affect meaningful change in our lives. It entails cultivating a balanced mentality, one that accepts new experiences while maintaining a balanced perspective. To rise above and shape the world we wish, we must accept and comprehend all sides of any circumstance, just as a bird uses both wings to soar. Mastering non-polar attention not only allows us to transcend the constraints of our current situation, but it also empowers us to be the builders of our own fate, making a reality that reflects our highest dreams and desires, examining the impact of good and negative attention. A basic yet deep concept is at the heart of the universe's great design. Our concentration directs the flow of energy. It's not just about how much attention we offer, but also about the type of attention we provide, whether good or negative. This is an important component of life's reaction to our ideas and feelings. When we think on negativity, fear or rage, we inadvertently attract events and experiences that reflect these feelings. When we concentrate our attention on good feelings, such as love, joy and appreciation, we naturally attract events that resonate with these wonderful vibrations. This idea is at the heart of the law of attraction a strong universal rule that shows how our ideas and emotions actively shape our world. Understanding and using the law of attraction opens up a world of possibilities for us, allowing us to materialize our greatest wishes and build a life full of riches, pleasure and contentment. In essence, our emotions act as a compass, directing us through a wide ocean of events, both positive and negative. Because emotions are powerful, they create a strong cycle of attraction and repulsion in our life. Consider this. When you're smitten with something, your attention naturally gravitates toward it. Similarly, when you truly dislike something, it is frequently difficult to stop thinking about it. In all cases, whether it's love or hatred, your concentrated attention sends a clear signal to the world, requesting more of the same so altering your reality in major ways. It's also critical to recognize our innate fear and survival instincts. Fear has been an important emotion for human existence, acting as a protective mechanism that kept our forefathers safe from harm. However, in today's society, this fear reaction can become habitual, staying even when there are no imminent risks. This lingering fear maintains us in a permanent survival mode in which negative ideas predominate, inviting more negativity into our life. Recognizing and resolving this deeply established anxiety is a key first step toward transformation. We may actively choose to redirect our emphasis from negative to positive EDs by being aware of our anxieties. This intentional move triggers a chain reaction of positive attractions dramatically altering the path of our life. The true ability to create and mold our reality is within our grasp, contained inside the unwavering focus of our attention and intentions. We hold the key to unlocking a reality that fits with our greatest hopes and deepest wishes if we grasp the influence of our positive and negative concentration. The impact of society on our focus and perception. In today's environment, Society exerts a significant grip on our attention and how we view reality, notably through the influence of media and social platforms. Every day, we are bombarded with an endless stream of information, transforming us into passive witnesses of a world that is frequently tinged with dread and pessimism. Fear, tragedy and scandal are prevalent in news channels, social media and even casual discussions. These stories hold our attention and keep us in a perpetual state of anxiety and uneasiness. Because we are constantly exposed to fear-based information, 
we inadvertently attract and actualize similar situations in our life. It is critical to recognize this trend. We must deliberately seek out knowledge and stories that promote optimism, personal development, and resilience. To offset this effect, consider the importance of emotions such as wrath, fear, and pride in society dynamics. Various cultural factors, such as political parties and marketing efforts, typically capitalize on these high emotions to influence public opinion. They capitalize on fear's collective effect, anger's mobilizing strength, and pride's sense of oneness. When these emotions are controlled for specific purposes, they can exacerbate divisions, aggravate disputes, and create antagonism, maintaining a reality scarred by bad experiences and hampering our collective journey toward harmony. Too frequently, our personal connections mimic patterns created by earlier experiences. Childhood experiences, previous relationships, and life events shape our sense of love, trust, and connection. If not addressed, these established habits tend to replicate themselves in our relationships, attracting partners that elicit these familiar yet sometimes painful emotions. It is critical to acknowledge and heal our prior traumas in order to break away from these repeated cycles. As a result, we adjust our concentration and, as a result, our reality. As Albert Einstein eloquently observed, we cannot fix our problems with the same thinking that caused them. Nonpolar or neutral attention is an important instrument for personal growth in our journey of personal development. Experiencing experiences and traumas without quickly labeling them as positive or harmful requires neutral attention. Instead, we see them as happenings in the complex fabric of existence. Traumas and difficult events might feel overpowering at times, casting lengthy shadows over our current lives. Adopting a neutral viewpoint, on the other hand, allows us to regard these events as possibilities for growth, self-discovery, and greater knowledge. We can handle our experiences more efficiently by experiencing our feelings without judgment or resistance. Neutral attention is an effective way to prevent reinforcing unfavorable events. We often unknowingly amplify the effect of unfavorable occurrences on our thoughts by dwelling excessively on them. By witnessing these experiences objectively, we deprive them of their ability to perpetuate negative in our lives. Finally, impartial observation has the power to alter. It's like a neutral light beaming within, illuminating our experiences without passing judgment. This light of impartial observation softly eliminates negative shadows, promoting healing and change. It's like the sun dissolving the morning frost. We may eliminate our anxieties, uncertainties and suffering by adopting this type of attention opening the way for a reality rich in development, resilience, and positive transformation. The symbiotic interaction between the heart and the mind. There is a deep and complicated relationship between our emotions and ideas within each of us, like a beautiful dance between the heart and the head. This interplay is reminiscent of the magnificent rhythm of the ocean's tides. Our ideas, like the surface waves, are continually altered by the undercurrents of our emotions. These emotions, our feelings' lively vitality, function as a tremendous force, causing ripples that impact and drive our thinking. This dynamic is so powerful that it has the potential to influence our world, significantly influencing our perceptions and experiences. When we dwell on negative ideas, it's like a storm destroying the tranquility of a lake. Dwelling on bad experiences or worries generates a toxic thought vortex, breaking the delicate balance between our heart and head. This results in a confusing and distressing reality, as if we're looking at the world through a distorted, warped mirror. Our perception of the world is warped, as is our comprehension of it. However, understanding how our heart and intellect are connected allows us to alter course and choose a more positive road. We may intentionally redirect our focus to more productive emotions and ideas by carefully directing our attention. Consider taming a wild horse. 
we may direct it to a place of our choosing with cautious and competent control. Similarly, by directing our attention on good qualities, we may affect the character of our thoughts and, as a result, our reality. This method does not include ignoring or suppressing unpleasant ideas. Rather, it is a conscious decision to nurture favorable ones. It's like sowing seeds of pleasure, serenity and love in our mental garden and nurturing them with our concentrated attention. These seeds will grow into a lively and flourishing garden over time, resulting in a reality that represents the beauty and richness of our inner emotional world. To genuinely tap into the transformational power of attention and master the skill of focused attention, we must go on a meaningful path of acceptance. Acceptance entails more than simply admitting our existing circumstances. It entails totally accepting our experiences without passing judgment. This crucial habit is known as non-polar attention. Non-polar attention entails examining our lives without categorizing them as excellent or terrible. It is about seeing things as they are, without the filter of judgment. Adopting this impartial perspective allows us to remain grounded in the face of external obstacles. It's like being in the eye of a hurricane, yet being calm and composed. Zen master Shun Ryu Suzuki famously stated, there are many possibilities in the beginner's mind, but few in the expert's mind. As starters, we may use the power of non-polar attention to keep our minds open to new possibilities. Acceptance has a critical part in overcoming resistance. Resistance is a chain that binds us to our existing state, impeding our growth and evolution. Acceptance, on the other hand, acts as the key to unlocking these bonds. We can let go of resistance by embracing where we are right now, making room for fresh beginnings. Consider a river flowing gently around a boulder. The water does not oppose the boulder. It just accepts its presence and moves on. Similarly, we must negotiate life's hurdles, recognizing them as necessary components of our development and transformation path. We may utilize our understanding of acceptance as a springboard to discover the hidden opportunities behind hardship. Acceptance allows us to see events in their genuine context by removing the layers of judgment and resistance. This new viewpoint enables us to find that every difficult circumstance, no matter how scary, contains a silver lining. All it takes is the desire to look for these hidden chances. The next crucial step is to refocus and retain our attention on the reality we want to create. This entails focusing our energy, thoughts and emotions on bringing our preferred reality to completion, rather than wasting them on inconsequential concerns. The first step in attaining this concentrated attention is to cultivate serenity. Even under stress, equanimity is a condition of mental steadiness and serenity. Consider it as a peaceful lake that is unaffected by wind blows. Your mind remains peaceful in the face of external disruptions when you have equanimity. This peace liberates your energy from reactionary tendencies, allowing you to devote it to creating the world you want. Thus, equanimity allows for a smooth transition from passive acceptance to active creation, allowing you to transcend from just accepting your existing circumstances to actively crafting a reality that matches with your innermost aspirations and desires. Using imagination to shape reality, Albert Einstein, known for his scientific prowess, reportedly stated that imagination is everything. It is a foreshadowing of what is to come in life. This realization inspires us to utilize our imagination to create the world we want transforming setbacks into stepping stones toward our goals. We create our life with our ideas and energies, much like artists. In this creative process, paying close attention is essential. It unveils many facets of our reality, assisting us in creating a one-of-a-kind living experience. This concept, which is based on both ancient spiritual traditions and contemporary quantum physics, demonstrates that our concentrated attention may influence our reality by linking our ideas with the actual world. Accepting our existing position, establishing inner equilibrium, 
and then actively concentrating on the reality we want to create are all part of this transforming path. This effective three-step method allows you to narrate your life narrative using your thoughts and energies. You have the capacity to mold and transform your life by concentrating your attention, keeping balance, and choosing decisions that represent your actual self. Accept your capacity to create and change your world. The cosmos, as Rumi stated, is not outside of you. Examine yourself. You already have everything you desire. Begin this voyage of learning and creativity with imagination and optimism now. Contribute your thoughts in the comments section to our joint quest toward greater spiritual awareness.